Welcome to this week's edition of the Falcon Report. This week is November 15th through November 19th. Let's check in with our reporter in kindergarten. Hi, my name is Emma. I am with Emma and Evelyn from McDaniel's class. I hear you're working on Long Guy. What sound does Long Guy make? I. That's right. What are some things that start with long guy? Ice cream and island. Great. Thank you, kindergarten. Now back to our reporter for this week's story highlights. Our high flyers for safety are in kindergarten. KJ, Killian, first grade, Aisley, Addie, Adeline, Margo, second grade, Jacob, Faye, Declan, third grade, Johnny, Jaden, Finley, fourth grade, Rory, Ian, fifth grade, Caitlin, Caleb. Way to go, High Flyers. We currently have 41 1,858 care cards. Our award will be announced soon. Our new goal is 55,000. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Hi, this week is National Book Award Week. Mrs. Lee, can you share some fun award-winning books with us? Sure, Emma. There are two main book awards in the United States. The first one is the Caldecott Award. It's for picture books. And the winner of the Caldecott Award this year is We Are Water Protectors. The other one is a Newbery Award. That's for chapter books for kids. And the winner this year is When You Trap a Tiger. When You Trap a Tiger is about a girl named Lily. She, her mom, and her sister move in with their Korean grandmother and their grandmother has always told them stories about magic things one of them being a tiger so when Lily meets a magic tiger she thinks it might be the thing that saves her grandmother's life the book is written by Tay Keller who grew up in Honolulu Hawaii but after she graduated from high school she went in search of snow so now she lives in New York City we are water protectors is about an indigenous girl who learns the importance of water from her elders and then she unites with her community and its supporters to defend the water. Uh, this girl's grandmother teaches her that water is sacred, it's the first medicine and it nourishes human life. The girl's community believes in a prophecy about a black snake that will threaten the water. So the girl strikes powerful poses and holds hands with others to stand against the snake and together the communities confront the snake fighting it on behalf of all the lives that depend on the water. The book is written by Carol Lindstrom who is a member of the Turtle Mountain Band of Ojibwe Indians. She's from Nebraska and the illustrator is Michaela Goad who is from an indigenous clan in Sitka, Alaska. Can you show us a picture from inside the book? Sure, how about this one? It shows the girl holding hands with her community and fighting against the black snake. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lee. Hello, I'm with Isla this morning. Do you have a favorite snack? Yes, I do. Um, I like fruit salad, brownies, watermelon, and blueberries. What kind of books do you like? I like fantasy, magical, and fiction. What would people be surprised to learn about you? I have a lot of pets and um, I'm half Greek. 
How many pets do you have? I have eight pets. That's a lot of pets. What do you have? I have five horses, two dogs, and one bunny. That's cool. When you grow up, what do you want to be? A national swimmer or a dance owner. What are the three things you love? My family, pets, and swimming. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? Um, my grandpa is a sheep herder. Fun. Thank you, Isla, for sh sharing with us. You're welcome. Here's what's happening at Spearswood this week. Report cards will be sent home today. Salta testing is Tuesday and Wednesday. Have a good week, Falcons.